welcome back to today's video as promised also remember how i said i did not have any like fish in the first video we ended up finding some and i got us this little friend and i might go get another one he actually looks like my cat in real life and well my real life cat's kind of a jerk but he can be sweet also thanks to the person in the comments who said to add stairs it actually is a lot helpful i was planning on it but doing this earlier is actually a bit more helpful because I can get up and down faster. So thank you for the suggestion. And today we're going to go over to the mines and go see what they got in there. So I've already got some pickaxes, some dirt, don't need the fish, and some torches. We got some dirt just in case we get stuck somewhere. And we got a ton of food since the last time I made the mistake of not grabbing food when we went out to explore. But uh, while we're in there, I will actually tell you guys a interesting story about my little jerk of a cat. Even though he can also be the sweetest thing sometimes. So, currently at the moment, my actual room is being remodeled. And... So I've been moved into our big extra room, which happens to have the cat door in it for our cat to go in and out of our house. Well, he's recently learned that he can kill things and bring it back to us, which isn't the best for us. Because then we have to figure out what in the world we're going to do with these dead or half alive animals. Even though sometimes he brings me live ones and I'm a little thankful for it, even though that sounds terrible, just because... You know, who doesn't want to pet a cute little bunny? That horse was freaking out. Either way, I didn't know what was going on because I walked into my room and it just smelled like day-old, mildewy, like, laundry. And I had done all my laundry literally that week, so I had no clue what was going on there. So I decided, okay, maybe the cat brought something in because I remembered when he had done that and brought the mouse into our gaming closet, it was, like, the exact same smell. So I realized he must have brought something in, and it's got to be, like, stuck in my boxes of stuff. And so, like, keep in mind, I've been in this room for, like, a couple of months now. Well, more like one month. But it's never a good thing when, like, you're sitting there and you start smelling just dank, dirty, dead mouse. So I start looking around for it, like any normal person would do, but I just can't find it. It's just, like, not there. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to give up for now, see if maybe the mouse pulls it out, or the cat pulls it out. See if, you know, maybe he'll do it himself. Well, he didn't, and I kept smelling it, like, I have, like, this 3x3 three three bookshelf case, and I'm, like, smelling it, like, right there, so I'm like, okay, it's got to be in one of these bins. So I pull out one of the bins, and I start going through it, but I just can't find it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to dump it out. And I have, like, those cloth, like, foldable storage bins. So I removed the bottom plate piece. And there was the little dead guy. Except it was a lizard. One, I don't even know where he got a lizard, because I've never seen a lizard around here. But, like, I also don't completely doubt that they are around here, because, like, the other day we found a turtle. So... That was disgusting to find, because... It wasn't even like he was full of maggots or anything. He was just, like, flat. He was like a crispy piece of lizard bacon. And it was disgusting. But I'm so glad that I found him, because now my room stopped smelling like dank laundry. Oh. Hello. I forgot a sword. I'm. Y'all are all going to be angry in the comments about the fact that I just killed him. With that, oof, I am stupid. You know, I thought I was prepared. Obviously, I ain't. But before we get our booties out of here, let's just grab this so we can, like, upgrade our tools and get, like, a better sword when we go back to the house. And maybe I should, like, grab a bed. Oh, wait, that's not going to help. See, I'm just stupid right now. I haven't played uh, survival mode, like, without, like, on, like, normal in a long time. So I haven't really had to think about worrying about where the mobs are. Because I've been, like, what is this? Oh, they're vines. Oop, my bad. 
we'll uh, we'll fix that little issue later. But, like, I haven't had to think about it. So, like, I'm so not used to preparing for mobs. I'm just used to preparing for going into the mine. Since it's so much easier to grab stuff that way. So, kind of my bad. <laughs> I'm always, like, a super forgetful person. Like, I remember when I was a lot younger, like, elementary school age, I would, like, always forget my lunchbox. And it would suck, because I would get in so much trouble for it, because I would... I forgot it so many dang times. Like, it was just ridiculous at that point. Like, it's not like I meant to forget it. Because, like, no kid, like, purposely wants to not have lunch. But, like, it's because I'd always put it in the fridge. And, like, I would never go into the fridge in the morning other than to grab milk. And I'd be like, oh, it's fine. I'll grab it on my way out. And then I'd never grab it on my way out. So... There's a lesson right there. Don't leave your lunch in the fridge. Even though, well, depending on what it is, you might want to leave it in the fridge. Just don't forget your food. Oh, I can hear the cat from out here. Kind of glad we got a little pet in here. Because it makes the place a lot more homey. Oh yeah, by the way, since we have that addition, we also have this addition now. Which, this area is going to be a underground farm. Then over here we're going to have animals, and it's just going to keep tunneling down. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick right now. Just a cold. Don't worry, I ain't got corona. But, oh yeah, I was, I didn't have coal and I didn't want to like do actual mine mining over there off camera. Because I wanted you guys to actually see it and not think I was just like, going into creative. But yeah, we need to make a sword because I'm dumb and forgot that there were mobs. Anyway, uh, I hope all y'all had a great 4th of July, though. Oh, here it is. See, I'm just, I'm just dumb today. I'm just dumb today. I can't remember where anything's at. But we're going to bring that wood along with us just in case. So that, like, you know, we got some stuffs. And then... Man, I'm dumb. I can't even remember the crafting recipe for a freaking sword. Dang, I'm really being this dumb today. Oh yeah, by the way, for my viewers who happen to have uh, Disney+, Plus, there's this real good show that I've been binge-watching recently called Loki, which right now I think it's only got like three, four episodes. Well, it will by the time this video comes out, unless I choose to post the video today. But like, it's a really good show. I like it mainly because I really like the character Loki. I know some people don't, but I do, so... You know, you guys should check it out. Actually, what time is it? Okay. I'm going to wait for that to go down, and then I'm going to rest, and I'll meet you guys once I get back into the mine. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. I went to sleep, made some armor, and now we're back in the cave. This time, I actually have a sword, and I also brought a... Um... Gosh dang it, what's it called? See, I can't remember anything. Um, a furnace. See, I got it. And we're going to keep on exploring, and this time I have a sword if we happen to encounter more mobs. I love those freaking glowy vines. They're just so freaking pretty. Oh, hey, did we already find gold? Well, that just broke. Um... Oh no, it's up there. See, hearing all those noises makes me so freaking nervous. Where's my- oh. Found my thing of dirt. We'll explore- 
explore up here after, but first I want to know what in the world is this? Dripstone block. Huh. And raw gold. Okay. So we got these two. And we're going to see what else that we can find down here. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just reorganizing this. That's a lot easier to access now. Okay. Let's go around. We need to find a lot of iron. Because not only are we going to end up needing a full thing of iron gear, we're also going to need a lot of iron to upgrade all our tools. Just so that we end up getting things faster. And can get a lot more cool things in our world. I'm not going to break the vines because I don't have a thing of shears on me. And I don't really want to just get rid of all the vines before I can actually get them. I wish I had that little effect thing you could use to quickly speed things up. But I don't. Let's see. I actually remember when I was a lot younger, there was this one YouTuber I loved watching, and his name was Dan to the M. I'd watch like his horror vo his horror videos, his uh, Minecraft mod reviews. I would like watch all of his videos, and like I loved his channel. He was actually the reason why I became really good friends with this, and I became really close with one of my very best friends. I ended up later on not liking his videos as much anymore due to the fact that he ended up getting really famous and then kind of kind of lost his like touch a little bit. He changed. He just wasn't exactly the same. But I used to love his videos and he was one of the reasons why I wanted to become a YouTuber. What's this? <clears throat> Cobbled, cobbled deep sleep. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's really dried out. Oh, I found the copper ore. But yeah, I used to love his videos. I just used to watch a girl named Athmal a lot, and... <laughs> I actually used to date this one guy who I'd given a nickname off of from her show. And it was actually really cute because our relationship was very close to theirs. Like, very, like, very similar, I should say. But I always liked her content, too. She would do, like, Minecraft role plays, game plays together, and she had all these really awesome characters and voice actors. So it was a lot of fun watching your channel. And, you know, I kind of want to, like, do something like they did. I want to make people smile. I want to help people brighten their day when they're down in the dumps. Ow, what? Ow. Jeez, that scared me. I'm not used to having things attack me in the mind, like I said earlier. Gave me a little heart attack there. Ooh. I remember when I first started playing this game, I used to be terrified of going into the mine by myself. Well, just lost that. Oh well. Um, but I used to be terrified of going into the mine by myself because of the monsters and mobs and such. How much you want to bet he's going to try to get me and he's just going to fall? Yep. Let's go get that spider over there and explore that cave. Oh, there's a lot of guys in here. You know, they ain't that scary once you get used to them. Ooh. I'm just gonna... Try to play it safe in here, Jesus. Place the torch underneath me, so that when I mine above, if there happens to be gravel, I don't get smushed. You know, we're doing pretty good for ourselves already. 
This is why I'm pretty. We got pretty lucky spawning next to a ravine. Actually, now that I think about it, we're probably getting up to my time limit. Because if I want to get this posted on Wednesday, I can't have this video being too long. So, I'll probably keep mining a little bit. I'll show you guys what I get on the next episode. And I hope all you have a great week. And remember, if you have any stories to share, put it in the comments below. And I will do it in one of my story time videos. Or maybe I'll even tell it during one of my Minecraft episodes. Have a great day. I start out.